Hi, I'm, my name is Phil Byler with Paradise Energy Solutions. I'm our service administrator. And today we're gonna to be taking a look at the monitoring setup for our system here at our corporate office. Um, realize that this may not look like exactly like your, your monitoring software, but it is representative of uh, what you might see. All right, so this system view of uh, the system we have at our corporate office here, here in Pennsylvania, um, we have three different arrays. We have a carport and then two different arrays on our roof. Um, and you can see the overall production. This is actually from uh, yesterday, uh, August 15th. It was a nice sunny day. From the graph here, I can tell that all the panels were producing. Um, if there would be a panel that was not producing, that would be a different color, probably black. And then also down here at the bottom, I can see what the system was producing hour by hour. Uh, so it looks like we got our, the most watt hours of production at uh, 12, 12 noon. Um, the system produced 12,000 watt hours or 12 kW. And now I, I want to jump over to another system that actually has some problems. Uh, you can see here with the, the panel view, uh, this is a ground mounted system and I can tell that uh, I have some issues. These two panels, for instance, um, there's showing no production as are several, several more panels. But then there's a few, if you look closely, that are producing quite a bit less than the ones around them. For example, uh, these two panels right here are producing 158 watt hours and, uh, and 176 watt hours. Uh, by comparison, these other panels are producing 257, 247, 260. Um, so there's a, there's a pretty big difference um, in, in the amount of production. That tells me that these inverters are probably starting to fail. Let's jump around a few days. This is back on August 13th. Let's jump up uh, to the next day, August 14th. And uh, we're still seeing the same thing. It looks like there was uh, more sunshine uh, this, on this day. Um, but even with the, the more power production, these two panels, uh, 327 watt hours and 456 watt hours by comparison. These panels are producing 619 and, and so forth. Now I know for a fact that there's no shading here um, and it seems to be consistent, uh, this, these low production. So it, it gives me a pretty good idea that this system has some, some issues aside from just these obvious ones. Um, these obvious inverters or panels that aren't producing anything. If you have some panels, say, in the corner of your array that are producing less than the ones around them, one thing you may want to check for is shading, because uh, it is this. if there would be shading on this part of the array, these panels would obviously be producing less, and that would show up in these numbers. Uh, so if, if there's one spot in your array that's always producing less, uh, you, you do want to check to see if you have any shading out there. Uh, so that's one way you can tell when you're looking at your system. That gives you a snapshot of what, what your panels are producing. Thanks for watching.